As the summer winds down and vacations wrap up, many Canadians are heading back into work mode. And depending on what you do, work can be a stressful environment. But is the stress of your job leading you to drink? According to a U.S. study, the jobs that have the highest rate of heavy alcohol use are within the mining and construction industries, each at around 17 percent. Accommodation and food services comes in third at almost 12 percent. In those industries, I think it's specific based on just the well, working conditions and the hours. Generally, when you see people working longer hours, um, it leads to more stress and more stress can lead to um, seeking ways to alleviate that stress and sometimes they're healthy and sometimes they're less than healthy. Heavy alcohol use is defined as drinking five or more drinks on the same occasion on five or more days in the past 30. Stone says this can often lead to alcohol addiction and actually end up having the opposite of its intended effect. And one of the things that we found very interesting at, at our clinic at Alavita is that you know a lot of people come in with a fear of you know, if I slow down my drinking or stop my drinking, that my depression or my anxiety is going to increase. And what we found is that it's categorically the opposite. But there's another substance that individuals may choose to cope with stress, one that will be legal across Canada in just under two months. I think that they're very similar to what we're seeing with what we've seen with alcohol. You, you basically have marijuana moving into the same sort of paradigm culturally. And I think we can expect the same sort of uh, impacts. According to a recent study done in Colorado by the CDC, in a similar fashion to alcohol, the occupations with some of the highest rates of marijuana use are food preparation and serving and construction. To Stone, the adverse health effects are similar. Uh, generally, it's a, cannabis is addictive. Um, the, the, you know, the idea that it's harmless, I think, is uh, false. So uh, there are risks there. I think we should look to the paradigm that we have already with alcohol to identify those risks and really educate people about um, how to use it safely because it's, it's definitely on the horizon. In terms of how to manage stress and drinking, Stone recommends limiting after-hours drinks with co-workers to wine and beer only, no hard liquor and no more than two to three drinks per sitting. He also says to avoid drinking daily. Many people tend to reward themselves with a drink after a hard day, but he says that can lead to an increase in volume and frequency, and that's how habits become addictions. In Winnipeg, Erica Natividad, City News.